Notice the devastating circumstances. The text says to us, the text says, and when the sixth hour had come, there was darkness all over the land. Listen here, there was darkness in the midst of day. And let me tell you something, that was a paradoxical darkness because when it should have been day, it's dark outside. And I'm speaking to somebody now, you're in the midst of a daytime, but it's dark in your life. You can't see your way. You don't know your way. But I cannot tell you right now, Jesus is the light of the world. And although you can't see where you're going, it's good to know that God is still in control, that God has his arms around you. Yes, it's dark out here. Now watch this, watch this. It is also a relative darkness. Because... Uh, it seems to suppose, the text says, that it was darkness all over the land. Now we could suppose that it was darkness all over the globe. However, we could also uh, suppose that it was darkness in one particular geographical location. So can I tell you something? Even though it may be dark in your life, it may not be dark in somebody else's life. And can I tell you, we're all going to experience some type of darkness in our lives. What are you talking about, preacher? There's going to be a time where we're going to be living in a 3 a.m. existence. And a 3 a.m. existence is a time when it's dark. There's no light. You can't see yourself. You can't see your shadow. You can be so dark that you really can't see your own self. But can I tell you that in the midst of the 3 a.m. existence, that's when you need to call on the Lord and know that he may not come when you want him to come. But he's all. Always on time. There is darkness all over the land. There's darkness. Can I get a little volume in here? There's darkness all over the land. I can't see my way. I can't find my way. It's dark. But can I tell somebody that darkness is limited? That weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. But then secondly, notice the distressful cry. He said, Ma ila, ila, lama sabathani. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And let me tell you something, Jesus here leaves us a model that sometimes we are going to question God. Don't get too sanctified. Don't get too spiritified. That you don't act like you don't call, ask God the same question. And it's something how people can pump themselves up. It's something how people can act so spiritual. You go talk to them, how you doing? They know they doing bad. Oh, well, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm doing all. Stop lying. You know you're doing bad, but you gotta say, you know what? Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? I'm in this place. Why haven't you not vindicated me yet? I'm being reviled. Folk are spitting on me. They're hitting me. And yet you're sitting there. You turned your back on me. Finally, notice here the disillusioned critics. Here it is after Jesus cries because uh, the physiological impact of the crucifixion was so severe. His speech was kind of muffled so they really couldn't understand. That's why they could not make out. That's why they thought he was calling out for Elijah. Because they did not know. Uh, they couldn't understand his speech. And so uh, what happens is 
one of the young men or women, someone in the crowd came in and took a sponge and dipped it in some vinegar and they held it up and the crowd said, wait a minute, if he's calling on Elijah, let Elijah come. All they were doing was adding hurt to the affliction. And don't you know when folk don't understand what you're going through, they're always going to add some hurt to the affliction. Instead of hurt helping you, they end up hurting you even the more because they don't understand. <laughs> but even in the fact that men don't understand, even though people in life don't understand, it's good to know that uh, there's not a friend like the low Lead Jesus. Yeah. No, not one. None else could he heal all our souls, diseases. Uh, no, not one. I wish I had a little help in here. For Jesus knows uh, all about our struggle. Am I in the right church here? Yes. Uh, and he will, yes, sir, uh, guide until the day uh, is done. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's uh, not a friend uh, like the lonely Jesus. Oh, Lord. And I'm glad to tell you uh, that when mama don't understand, uh, and although daddy is gone, and although I can't talk to him, uh, I can fall down uh, on my knees, uh, and I can talk to the Lord, uh, and I can say, Father, can you help me say, Father, Father, come on, say, Father, with me, Father. Hallelujah. Father, Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know. If thou will draw thyself from me, whether shall I go? And is there anybody here? I know the Lord will step right on in. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Shout glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Be not dismayed. What a heavy time. God will. Come on and say God will. God will take care of you. Take me up one more note. Yes, the Lord will. The Lord will. The Lord will. The Lord will. He'll make a way. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Yeah. Yeah. I called on the name of the Lord and he heard me yeah shout glory 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 ain't he alright ain't he alright ain't he alright yeah yeah what's his name what's his name what's his name what's his name? name is he alright is he alright is he all right? Shout yeah! 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 He knows! He knows! He knows! How much we can bear when I find myself about to fall. I got grace and mercy walking with me. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Shout glory, glory, glory. 